um, and settle into a nice, comfortable seated posture. I'll adjust my mic. There we go. Okay. And you can be sitting in a nice, comfortable, cross-legged, seated posture with a couple of cushions under your knee or if your legs are down, have them about a hips width apart, shoulders aligned with the hips. And imagine your spine is this beautiful string of pearls of light that stretches from the base all the way up through the crown of the head and beyond. And just lengthen. And then bring your attention to the breath. Notice the sensation of the air as you're inhaling and exhaling. And be aware of the sounds in your environment, whether it be inside your home or outside. And then just allow the sounds to be there. They're part of your uh, mandala, your little world. And then just notice the thoughts that are arising in the mind and maybe the thoughts that were arising in the mind prior to you coming on here. Like, did you wake up with a bunch of stories in your head? And were they even real? Based on fact or based on something you're kind of chewing on? So now just allow the thoughts to arise. Just let them bubble. And maybe let those bubbles just burst rather than you following them. We'll just allow the thoughts. So, you know, what happens is if you don't follow the thoughts, they just disappear. You don't give them any energy. So particularly if the thoughts are not really particularly virtuous or they're, in, they're really just not correct, making up stories. Then try not to judge what it is you're thinking. Just allow yourself to take a step back and be reasonable. Is this something I need to address? Or is it just not wise to do so? So this is where we need wisdom. And all these practices we're doing, purification practices, they all just kind of help us develop our wisdom. And then bring to mind all the people of your life, so your loved ones. And these are the ones we have very uh, close relationships with, profound relationships. And then there's our, you know, our strangers. And then there's the ones we don't like. And just imagine they can, they can all change place at any time. And they're all equal in their wish to be happy. And they wish to be free from suffering and having this extraordinary capacity for Buddhahood. So I think we'll do this meditation on Tara this morning for the benefit of all these people of our life, for all sentient beings, and particularly all the sentient beings that are 
somehow caught up in these fires. So I'll share a um, turn. So she's also behind me, but you can't see her because my head's in the way. Big head. Okay. So now imagine Tara in the space in front of you. So she is in the space in front of you if you just wish to open your eye for a minute. And imagine this is a, a light body, green light body, sitting on a multicolored lotus. Her left foot is drawn in and her right foot out, resting on its own little multicolored lotus. And this left foot drawn in indicates her complete and effortless control over her desire energy. And her right foot out indicates her willingness and also her capacity to be able to get up and act for sentient beings. And often she's referred to as the wish-fulfilling Buddha, and she represents this quick capacity, female, to cut through the obstacles, to get things done, and to be successful, and of course, to make us all blissful. And imagine Tara is very, very beautiful. She's youthful and radiant and full of energy and full of bliss. And she's wearing these uh, silken, uh, colored silken garments, she has jewellery on her ears and ankles and arms and necks. And she's quite, you know, she's quite blinged out here in this tanka. So imagine she's got jewellery in her hair. She has this five-pointed crown. Beautiful. So you can also imagine this is the mind of your teacher manifesting in this form for your benefit. I go for to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. I go for refuge until I'm enlightened. By this practice of meditating on Guru Tara, may I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. So now imagine um, Tara sending incredibly powerful, blissful white light from the Om at her brow chakra. And this enters your brow and completely fills you. And imagine that all the problems and sufferings and heaviness of the body are completely purified by this light. And all the harm that you've ever done to any living being with this body and all infinite past bodies is also purified and it's eradicated completely, not one atom left. And after, um, so we just will start with that now. So just imagine this beautiful white light pouring in. Om tare tu tare tu re 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 soham. Om tare tu tare tu re soham. Om tare tu tare tu re soham. Om tare tu tare tu re Imagine the light coming again.
And you imagine your bodies become a blissful light body, just like Tara's, indestructible, just like it will be when you attain the deity's body, the Sambhavakaya. And imagine it's not possible to ever harm others with this body, only to benefit them. And we'll just just imagine that as we recite the mantra again. Om Tare Tutare Ture Sohan 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 Now imagine Tara sending red light from the A ah at her throat chakra to your throat. And this purifies all the problems of your speech. So you know those times where we kind of blurt things out and we're inappropriate when we're just kind of rabbiting on about nothing, sort of boring everybody to death. This is kind of useless. And we just our uncontrolled speech pretty much in the same category and then any angry speech, harsh speech, criticism. We're not quite telling the truth. And this in inability we sometimes have to express ourselves appropriately. And then think of all the harm you've ever done to any living being with the speech of this life. And infinite past lives is also purified, eradicated by this blissful red light. Not one atom left as we recite the mantra again. Om Tare Tutare Ture Sohan 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 Om Tare Tutare Ture Soham
Imagine the light coming again. And just feel totally full of all this blissful, perfect, compassionate wisdom, appropriate speech of Lama Tara, such that whatever sound you utter is necessarily better, beneficial to any living being who hears it. And all of this is your potential. So feel full of this powerful speech energy as we recite the mantra again. Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re So 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 Om Tare Tu tare tu re so. Now Lama Tara sends powerful beams of blue light, blue light the sky from the blue hum at her heart chakra, and it centers your heart. And imagine that all the unhappiness of your mind, any confusion, arrogance, anger, jealousy, pride, resentment, depression, hurt, anxiety, self-hate, all of this is completely purified and that all your delusions, including the root delusion, ego grasping, <clears throat> which is the cause of all of our own suffering, and why we harm others, is also completely eradicated <clears throat> Excuse me. by the powerful blissful light, not one atom left. And we'll recite the mantra again. Just imagine that. Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re So 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 hum. Om tare tu tare tu re so hum. Om tare tu tare tu re so hum. Om tare tu tare tu re so hum.
Now imagine the blue light coming again, and this time feel full of this blissful, omniscient, compassionate mind of Lama Tara, all of which is your potential. This is this is actually who you really are, not all this other stuff. Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Sohang 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 Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soham Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soham Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soham Now imagine the three lights coming again from Lama Tara's three chakras simultaneously and they penetrate your three places. So the the white om at the brow, the red R at the throat and the blue hum at the heart. And now this time feel that even the subtlest, subtlest stains, the subtlest energy of delusion are completely eradicated. There's not one atom left. And feel very blissful as we recite the mantra again. Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soham 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 So stay in this blissful state, concentrating on being one with the energy of Mother Tara just for a minute. <clears throat> So now imagine this Tara's little foot lotus dissolving upwards into her foot and her leg, and then that comes to the the main lotus. This dissolves upwards into her body, and then she comes to sit above the crown of your head facing the same way as you, and out of her wish to become one with your mind, remember this is also the mind of your teacher, she dissolves into green light, and melts into you through the crown and merges with your body and your speech and your mind and think, I am one with Lama Tara's holy body, holy speech and holy mind and feel blissful.
So let's just dedicate all the merit, all the positive energy we've created doing this practice this morning to all those people of our life and to all the sentient beings and particularly all those sentient beings in the fires up there. Okay. Down there, wherever you are. Okay. Lots of love, everyone. Thank you so much for hosting, Mary. Always so lovely to see you. Always so lovely to see everyone. And I will see you all this evening, hopefully. Okay. Good good morning. No one's from Australia here. Okay. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much.